Hey guys, Eclipse14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Shine the Holy Ark. Alright, we escaped the South Shrine because Melody was really low on MP, and so was pretty much everybody else. So we went back, restored ourselves, and here we go again. We're almost to level 20 with Arthur, which allows us the opportunity to get our first promotion in this episode, more than likely. But otherwise, we're going to try to focus a little more on the South Shrine. We're already done with the first floor, now we just need to cover B1. So, we'll try to go as far as we can, but the moment Arthur hits level 20, I'm using Return to get out. Mainly because you do not want to go any, uh, if you want to go the promotion route, you want to go at 20, otherwise you start losing stuff. So, wait, oh shoot, I have to be... I just pressed A and didn't think about it. Um... No, not yet. I'll just let it be as is. I have to be on the ceiling because there's that pit that I can't cross. I forgot about it. Shut up and actually fight, loser! Suplex powers! With 50. Fire breath! Takes you out of commission. Should have done Blaze too, you idiot! Hey, another Shinobi Club. Chris, that reminds me, I forgot to sell some crap. <laughs> uh, well, it is what it is. Alright, so we'll roll on this way. And we need to get onto the ceiling in order to do what we need to do. So, retreat all the way back around here. Oh, shoot. Well, could be worse. Could be a coin beast. Those things would be disastrous. Especially since I'd have to use magic. But these things aren't that hard. So, we'll just run through them with ease. And nice job. Suplex. For 50 and a panic. That's that. Easy stuff. Alright, roll on and. Alright, now this is the same kind of. Uh... It's the same scene as I faced him last time. So, I'm just gonna skip through the text. I told you, use the walls! The moment the floor stops really being useful, you use the freaking walls. I mean, watch, watch me. Okay, I'm actually kind of cheating because I have a gravity stone, but you use the damn wall. Kind of weird how ninjas, they can defy laws of physics, like you saw Doyle literally upside down, and yet they can't seem to walk across a freaking spiral floor. What the hell? Anyway, let's just roll on up and do this correctly. In which case, turning up here, turning right, and now I can make my way the way I need to. But first things first, turn here, left, right, down the spiral, and left to go back. Otherwise, you end up in that pit. Ah, crust A for anything else. It's a venom zombie, what are they gonna do? Poison me? Because they don't even do that much damage. Oh, potential slow. I mean, that's, I guess, nice. I, I don't give a shit. Get out of my face. Wait, wrong way. Go here. And here we are. We're back where we need to be. Alright, open the stone crypt. Because somehow it locked itself back up. Uh, 
There's the stairs to B1. Alright, we're gonna skip the spiral for now. We're gonna just turn this way and head straight. And there's the door. Now we went left right at the very end. That leads nowhere. That leaves this left. So use the magic matic and blast this thing away. Alright, so now what we need to do is just go down this way. Nothing here. Oh, damn it. I, my brain flipped on me. I was gonna go to. I should have went to R's. I went L's. Oh well. I mean, they're Venom zombies again. They're. 1.7. I mean, big fucking wolf. them. Alright, move on this way. Roll down this passage and we'll end up here. First thing we want to do is go down this middle path and we'll end up right here. Just go this way. This doesn't have anything. This one, however, has your next pixie. Once again, another leprechaun. Last out of the rocks, and Darby's found. Awesome. Another super jump. And lands in the party. Alright, that's about it here. We'll need to retreat back. Now I got him. Not that it means anything, they just go down a smidgen quicker. I can probably take them both out this turn. Maybe. Nah, I doubt it. It took all four of them to take one out. That's certainly not going to do it in one shot. I mean, yay, poison. Who cares? Oh, hey, an antidote herb. Solve my poison problem right there. Like, just like that. I already had one. Alright, we'll go this way instead. I think, uh, yeah, there's another magic matic to smash. Whack away! Right through here. Yeah. Crypt. Open this one. Inside here is a dragon orb. Interesting. Well, Basso is a dragon. Can't that actually get you? Yeah, it can be used. As an accessory, which increases breath defense by 50. Whoa. Let's go ahead and use that. At least for now. You gotta admit, that's pretty good. Anyway, while I think about it here, let me... Oops. Go ahead and run a little healing. I'll use Arthur's in this case. Get everybody up to snuff. How close is Arthur to level up? 246! We're not too far away from getting it done. Alright, let's roll on. 
this this will probably do it. Maybe. Who knows? Either way, blue covers are hard. But I'm pretty sure they give a good chunk of experience. And put to sleep. Right. Too bad I can't just target the other one. Oh well. Really? An increase of 50 breath defense and it's still 20. Really? That's... That's a bugger. Um, uh, nope. Apparently not enough. Uh, I guess I'll just keep going a little bit. At some point... Oh, hey, there's another magic medic. I may as well just break them all. Because it's fun to do that. This way. Another one of these guys. At least I know how to approach this one. Just don't use magic when they're transformed. Alright, no problem. I can just go ahead and run this. Let's run a Brutal Fire 3 and a Hellblast 3. Because they're still pretty hardy in defense. This will probably be better. Yeah, 43. Brutal Fire. 57. Oh, wow. And I can't use any more. Of course. God, it's so low. But there's nothing you can really do about it because magic is deflected. Yeah, I just kind of forgot about it. My last face the last one because uh, I mean it was pretty late in the video anyway and I was kind of just looking around trying to do at least one thing before I failed and uh, I did get something to close out the episode. Sixty-five is pretty good. Ouch. Fifty-seven. Sheesh. Just in case that happens again. Suplex! That certainly helps me. No, not by much. And there it is, level 20. How close is everybody else? Just in case I'm, uh, no, nah, it's level 18, it won't make a difference. Alright, so... One thing I want to try to, yeah, there's this thing. Inside here, a quick chicken. Alright, I can afford to call this it, so... I will... Well, I need to use the quick chicken first. But who's got it? Right, Paso. Uh, who's got the... Wow, really? Everybody except Basso. Uh, let's get Basso up. By three? <laughs> That's a bummer. Well, anyway, I will... Run return. We'll come back later. But for right now, Far East Village, here we go.
the first promotion in the game. We finally made it. Yep. And that's the transformation. Well, while I'm here, I'm just gonna wait. Uh... Head back out. I may as well just rest at the end while I have the chance. But now Arthur has a class change. Now you obviously you won't be seeing him in his attire. He gets a new outfit, of course. Um, but of course, with Arthur being who you are playing as, who I am playing as as well, you won't see what he's wearing until he levels up. Everybody else. You do get to say. So, that's kind of how it works. Alright, with that done, I may as well save the game. And I'm just gonna try to go as far as I can through repeating the same process, because I think there's only one more item left to get in that floor, and then we kind of just figure out how to approach the situation. Uh... Whoops, 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 what am I doing? Alright, in any case, we are off. Oh, you can see it right here, too. Yeah, Arthur's wearing this nice blue equipment. Well, you of gear. That's really only a slight bit of uh, what he's really got. Alright, back through the process, and should Melody and Rody hit level 20, I'm gonna transform them too. But hopefully that won't happen before. Oh shoot. Coin Beast. Oh boy. Don't really have much of a choice here. Spark level 1. Fast attacks because he has literally nothing. Brutal Fire 3 and Hellbuster. Well, this is gonna hurt. Oh, not as bad as I thought. Forty-five's not too bad. Well, against this thing. Fire Brat! Which, unfortunately, doesn't work for two damage. Sorry, man. There's not much you can do otherwise. To be fair, there actually are items that you can use that do special abilities if you use them as items. But not there just yet, though. Down it goes! We got him! Step on that! Oh, it might be soon, I realize! Shoot! Of course, Rhodey's not too far behind her. For the last freaking time! Use the wall! Yeah, you gotta see this every time you get here, which is annoying, but it is what it is. Alright, roll on and get moving. Oh, 
Oh wow, I just realized we're at 20 minutes, so I may as well, uh... Get a little more progress, and then I'll just end the episode after, like, one or two more fights. Oh, wait a minute. Um, I'm goofing up here. Gotta do this, otherwise you can't go into the next floor. Right. And here we go. Alright then. Step on down. Yeah, I'm past 21 minutes. Um... I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the episode here. Uh, I should probably heal before I do anything now. And after this, I'll cut off. The next episode, we'll finish off this floor. And if we can, finish off the South Shrine. But if not, we'll get to see Melody and Rhodey reach their class promotions as well. And that's a wrap for a video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.